Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and <laughs> thanks to my chat, we have a fantastic Disneyland Resort update for you today. Now, we kind of did the Disneyland Resort update, and um, we did the flyover video with Mika Flies, which I'll link to up in the top right corner. But right now, we thanks to my chat, they did a, their own helicopter tour. Thanks to a super spy, as they call it on their website, and they um, got some enclosed views of some really cool projects, including the DCA projects like Avengers Campus. But right now, as I said, we're starting here with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Ra Ra Runaway Railway, and this is <laughs> just to show you the current status of the project. There was a there barely working on foundation work before the uh, pandemic started for the stay at home. <laughs> orders were initiated so there's not much to see here but you can see that the length of land if you didn't know is again as long or even slightly bigger than the whole length of Toontown which is incredible um, and that's why they had to use, take out take out back both those backstage entertainment buildings to accommodate for this massive show building that is coming in 2022 um, as you can see, just a lot of dirt. They covered up some stuff. I think the stuff they covered up is some early concrete work. It looks like a concrete potential base for a crane. Um, and I see a little square there, so maybe that also another crane or some some more foundation working out there. Not entirely sure what um, what is uh, those squares are for or when. Construction will resume, but they weren't too far into this one, but they are far enough to, uh, I'd say that I will be definitely be continuing <laughs> when construction allowed, is allowed to start again, because you gotta assume some of these things have been paid for, or potential a lot of contracting stuff has been paid for, um, so hopefully <laughs> they'll get right back to the project as soon as, um, the park's open. As a way to kind of draw some people back in in a couple of years as well, but looks great and definitely not the progress has been made. So looks very exciting. Now moving on over to DCA. This is a far look at DCA. We'll get a much closer look in a second. But um, at this um, this far angle, you can see that the cast member building is just about it's done it's wrapped up just uh they're theming the facade basically the car to cars land um on the cars land facade absolutely love and it it's a while ago but i love how they themed the back side of radiator springs uh racers to the desert mountain landscape so it just looks like a whole bunch of uh, steel beams that's fantastic and yeah, that's all we can really see from this very far wide angle here. But as we go over to our next picture, we get a little bit of a closer zoom in. And here's Avengers Campus, the center of Avengers Campus. We'll get a whole bunch of angles, so don't worry. But in the foreground, the white building to the right, not the tall one. The tall one is the Animation Academy. But the small one behind the by the pine trees, or not pine trees, oh, those pine trees, I don't know. The small bring that's the Hank Pym test kitchen looking um, nearly done but there's still a lot of work to do, I'm sure on the inside and outside of that building and and the, there's no you can see the, the barcode like uh, pathway by Guardians of the Galaxy over there but um, there's no this is all of it's still dirt in the middle of the complex <laughs> No paving whatsoever, so still a lot of work to be done. Definitely a couple more months of work supposed to be done. It was originally supposed to be open to mind July 18th, so usually end of June, early July, all the stuff should uh, would have been done in the first place. That was March, so it's April, May. So again, that's about two to three months of work they still have to go before opening up the entire land whenever they start. Whenever they start construction. Going on to yet another angle of Avenger Campus, this way on the opposite side, as you'll note on the foreground by Luigi's, um, you can see the cast building is about five stories or so, 
Um, and you can, each scaffolding uh, row gives you. There's <laughs> a story. There's about five stories, and on the back, it'll be just white, and then on the front, it'll be themed too. And Luigi's basically um, an extension of Luigi's Relic and Roller Coasters. Relic and Roller uh, I can never do that type of word. <laughs> but an extension of that theming. And you can see Luigi's cars are all obviously tarp, uh, covered up. But no work on the Avengers uh, e-ticket just yet. There's the red car trolley um, storage uh, storage lot or storage area. As you see, there is. It looks like it's definitely gonna go through the Avengers gift shop for um, meet and greet or whatever is going over there. And there is even something covered in tarp <laughs> right in front of the storage unit, and we'll get to that really soon. That is the Avengers Quinjet, which is very, very interesting. I'm super excited for that to be put up on the top of the roof. But the actual back parking lot is still just a parking lot because the e-ticket is potentially delayed for a very long time now. Here's a much closer look <laughs> at what's covered in tarp. I can see him very outlined right now, which is the thumbnail of this video. And you got the Quinjet. You can see the tail poking out over there, and the um, the nose of the jet poking out under the tarps. I cannot wait to see if this looks like it's gonna go on that that open pad to the uh, looks like a helicopter pad almost on the uh, on the left building on the Avengers. Uh, Gift shop slash meet and greet building, you know, right sitting up there. And if all goes well, I still have the scheduled shows like the um, the uh, the Captain America and um, Black Widow <laughs> fighting Taskmaster. They put that in the description, so hopefully, they won't defund those or anything because that's really took away from Galaxy's Edge is when they took away the shows. So, hopefully, we'll keep the shows the Spider Man, Suntronic, and this as in the uh, uh, the Avengers show as well <laughs> because that way the uh, Quindro won't be just a prop or I'm sure there'll be sound effects so it'll be uh, as be part of the show it'll be like leaving in Quindro and it'll be really cool <laughs> and as we take one last look over or uh, not one last look there's a couple more looks actually but here's <laughs> another one in the center of the campus <laughs> just showing you another angle of what the hang pim kitchen looks like the bathrooms the form bugs and bathrooms have they been um, converged to that spider-man theming they'll remain bathrooms and the buildings look like they won't be connected or maybe they will it look like they'll be connected maybe not um but yeah just this with a big a will go i should know the big a's and little somewhere else but this will be basically the intersection of the land to the Avengers E to get the Doctor Strange show, which you can kind of see in the foreground, those concrete walls by the trees on the very bottom of the picture. And then, of course, the Spider-Man attraction, which we're going to go to next and get our last look here. <laughs> our last look right here is the Spider-Man attraction, which is clearly the farthest along, and I feel like after this obviously big delay i feel like they will definitely be opening up the spider-man attraction first like a phase 1a and then later on maybe towards halloween open up phase 1b which would be the rest of the land the doctor strange show um if that's still happening due to social distancing and uh, the pim test kitchen as well as uh, the shows and stuff well they might do the spider-man they probably will be able to do the spider-man show with spider-man obviously building because that'll be done. But yeah, this is definitely the farthest long as it's either the Circuit City paneling is back. And um some good looks like there's some sort of ex I don't know extended queue or just extended buildings. I'm still over to the right they're still working on over there. And uh, there's the Spider-Man <laughs> more thing there's gift shop in the foreground then the smaller building with the antennas. 
that you can go build your own spider bot and I also think that will open up the spider attraction if they do a, a split phased opening what they do with spider attractions first I feel like the gift shop also looks far enough so they can go all people when you exit the ride and go over the gift shop get your spider bot and backpack and buy all your stuff um, but obviously Disney won't want to leave that merchandising opportunity and money making opportunity um, on uh, the ground there <laughs> but yes thank you my chat you can definitely go to the website myshat.com for the full Disneyland update Disneyland updates every um, every week on uh, not the necessarily construction updates anymore but um just what's going on in the parks and Disney news for the past week so definitely go check them out myshat.com and subscribe for more theme park updates more Disneyland updates especially if we'll be at Adventures Campus when it opens as always have a fantastic day